and blessings. This is Father Paulo Asper to the Society of St. Paul for PCNE4. After the rains, the winds and the tides, the sun rose to greet the almost 6,500 participants or delegates for the second day of the 4th Philippine Conference on the New Evangelization last July 29 at the Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas Quadricentennial Pavilion, España, Manila. A festive atmosphere opened the day with praise and worship songs. The assembly danced their way to the Turumba, led by parishioners from St. Peter of Alcantara, Paki, Laguna, and with a solemn procession of Our Lady of Fatima capping the morning's welcome. Archbishop Bernard Rino Auza, Apostolic Nuncio, Permanent Observer of the Holy See to the United Nations, presided over the Mass in honor of Our Lady of Fatima. In his homily, Archbishop Auza identified key elements in living out the Marian message, namely, conversion, a heart that nurtures peace and prayer. When we examine the message that the Lady transmitted to the three children, we can say that Mary essentially came to us as ambassador of peace. That is the theme of our readings today. The first reading tells us the Prince of Peace, the child born to us, is with us. And Mary, his mother, is the ambassador, the presenter of that peace to us, summoning us to conversion and insistent prayer for peace. The Malolos Choir or Orchestra and Malolos Orchestra led the community singing in the Mass. Archbishop Salvatore Rino Fisichella, President of the Pontifical Council for the Promoting the New Evangelization, reflected on the topic of being Christian when in the age of global indifference, inspired by the example of the first disciples who were united in prayer, sharing, teaching, the breaking of the bread, of the and the life of simplicity. Concurrent sessions and workshops resume in the afternoon of the second day of the conference. Monsignor Pedro Gerardo Santos spoke on forming social conscience, the ground and fruit of communion. Rodney Galica, on pastoral principles of Laudato Si. Lydia Kismorio Villa Cruces on pastoral issues and responses to single parenting. Philip Jose Hernandez on social media that leads to communion. Bo Sanchez on building a community of faith, the feast experience. Cardinal Orlando Cuevedo, OMI, on parishes and communities and missionary transformation. Father Albert Alejo SJ on Capua and Loob, the Filipino concept of communion and solidarity, Dr. Pilar Romero on the common mission of the school and the parish, Guadalupe Isidro on campus ministry as a Galilee experience, Father Earl Alan Cura, CICM, on Groofy and Selfie, an interplay between solidarity and individuality, Father Edwin Garrigues on the prophetic witness of the church, and Carol Daria on being Jesus with the families of Tokang victims. Father Renato de Guzman spoke on the needed changes in today's catechesis and religious instructions in schools. Antonio Jose Tale on the vocation of family in the light of the third chapter of Amoris Leiticia. Femus Grave and Clarissa Martinez on the Filipino experience of ministering to the church in America. Bishop Ruperto Santos on social conditions of migrants and our Christian response, Father Roy Belien and Mr. Edwin Lopez on harnessing the influence of new media for church advocacies, Fondasio Asia on the dynamics of a missionary life, Eleanor Dionisio on religion and politics, finding common ground for common good, Dr. Donna Paz Reyes on a holistic school approach to communion with nature, Dr. Carlos Garcia on school community as missionaries of evangelization. Father Jose Alain Manalo on the successes and challenges of school parish collaboration. Father Luciano Feloni on human dignity in the life of the church and society. And Father Roman Makaiba 
on communing with our tribal roots. A tapestry work of the Philippine Royal Rumble or the Nanays of Payatas are located at the dance studio of the UST Pavilion. Performances by the Teatro Tomasino, Salingawi Dance Troupe, Sisters of Mary School, Silang Cavite, and the Nightingale Duet delighted the participants of the second day of the conference. The second day of the PCNE4 capped off with a Marian Festival of Songs and procession around the USD grounds. This has been Father Paulo Spirit of Society of St. Paul for PCNE4.